Hey, how are you doing? It's Mr. Clifford. This is ACDC Econ. We're talking about a key concept in macroeconomics. It's called the balance of payments. Okay, a bunch of students get confused on this. I'm going to simplify it so you understand the big picture. What you're going to learn about is two different accounts, something called the current account and the financial or capital account. Okay, two accounts. The best way to explain it is with an example. I've got two countries, United States and China, and there's no trade surplus, there's no trade deficit. Let's say the United States is exporting $5 billion worth of goods and services to China, but they're also importing $5 billion worth of goods and services from China, okay? So the exports equals the imports. The net exports equals zero, right? And that introduces the idea of the current account. The current account has to do with goods and services between countries. The one you normally see in the newspaper when they talk about trade deficit or trade surplus is the current account. The current account also includes things called net investment income and net transfers, but that's not as important. Okay, you'll learn those things too. Instead of saying that exports and imports equal, let's say what's a little more realistic is that the United States imports a whole lot more than it exports from China. In that situation, is this a trade deficit or a trade surplus? The answer is a trade deficit. A trade deficit is when a country imports more things from another country right, than it exports to that country. And so they have a trade deficit with China. Now, if the United States has a trade deficit with China, China must have a trade surplus with the United States. And so that means they're exporting more than they're importing from the United States. If the United States has a trade deficit with China, what that means is they're spending all this money to buy those imports Right? And China uses some of that money to buy United States imports. But still, the United States is buying more from them than they're buying for us. So China has all this United States dollars. The question is, what do they do with those dollars? Bring in, boom, the financial account or the capital account. Okay, the financial account looks at assets between countries. So countries can turn around and buy goods and services, but they can also buy each other's assets, their stocks and their bonds. Right? And so the United States can buy Chinese bonds and stocks, or China can buy United States bonds and stocks. The question is, what's going to happen if China has all this money from their trade surplus, right? The United States dollars. They're going to turn around and they're going to buy American assets. And so in the financial account, outflows are going to be greater than inflows. In other words, China is going to spend more money on United States assets than Americans are going to buy Chinese assets. All right? And over here, inflows are going to be greater than outflows for the United States. Now, I want you to take a look at this graph. This graph right here shows the basic idea. Notice that over all the years, the United States had a trade deficit or a current account deficit that was offset by the fact they had a capital account surplus. This concept right here is sometimes called net capital outflows. Right? In China, the net capital outflows is positive, which means China is spending more money on buying foreign assets than other people are buying Chinese assets. Over here, the net capital outflow for the United States is negative, right? The United States has more countries buying their assets than we're buying other foreign countries' assets. So if you have a trade deficit in the current account, you're going to have a financial account surplus with more money coming into your country. The same thing over here. If China has a current account surplus, they're going to have a financial account deficit. Hopefully it makes sense. Until next time.